Hey guys, so today is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. I actually had a video I was planning on putting up before this. Um, usually I get my BoxyCharm later in the month. So I was working on editing my haul video, um, but I got this in the mail yesterday, so I figured I would just go ahead and film this and get this up first, and then I can finish editing the haul um, to get up for you guys as well. So um, I... I'm very proud of myself. I didn't look at any spoilers for this. Usually I look at sneak peeks and spoilers. I did for my Ipsy bag, but this one I did not, and I didn't open it, the tape's still on it, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys this month. So let's go ahead and get inside. I'm kinda nervous, I usually know what's inside, but. Okay, so the card this month says makeup is art. Oh, and before I get into the products, for those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm is a subscription box service. It is $21 a month, and you get four to five, usually full-size products. Sometimes they'll include deluxe size, but for the most part, it is full-size products. And the value is usually always over $100, or right around $100. Uh, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, but um, it's a great value for your money, paying only $21 and getting $100 worth of stuff. So even if you don't like everything in your box, you're still getting your money's worth, in my opinion. So um, this is one of my favorite subscription boxes, and I am really excited to get into it. So the theme this month is makeup is art. That's what the card says. And on the back of the card, it just tells you all the products that you're getting and the prices. So I'll just kind of read off of this as I go. Um, the first thing I see, oh, this is the box, the inside of the box. And the first thing I see is this coupon. It says, goodbye grocery shopping, hello convenience. So you get $35 off your first box. And this is the hello fresh box. And it has a little code on there to get your um, $35 off your first box. So that's cool. Okay, so the first product that I see in here is this. It's from the Brow Gal. I actually already have this. Um, so, I mean, I'll open it up just to show you guys, but I, um, I'm not gonna swatch it or anything because I do have this. I got this in a BeautyCon box. I think it was, it was either the winter or the spring BeautyCon box and it came with like a little um, spoolie for your eyebrows and then it was a double-sided one. It had a spoolie on one end and a, um, like an angled brush on the other end to do your eyebrows. So this is a, it's brow powder and it's a trio. What shade did I get mine in? Oh, two. I'm not sure if they have more than one shade or not. I'll have to check mine and see what shade the one I got in my Beautycon box is, but I think it is this one. It looks, I'm pretty sure this is the one I got. Um, mine's, like I said, it's an O2. And those are the colors. You got a nice, like, warmer color there, a nicer, like, neutral color there and a more cool toned, a little bit darker brown there. So um, I don't know if this will fit everyone's um, eyebrow color. Uh, I mean, it'll fit the majority of people's eyebrows, I think. So it's nice that they included that. And next in the box is, oh, this is, um, this is the spoolie I was just talking about from the Brow Gal. This is the Brow Gal spoolie. I'm not gonna take it out, but um, you can see there's a spoolie on this end for your eyebrows, and it's a pretty good spoolie. I, I love, um, it's very similar to the Anastasia one, it's just a little bit fatter. And then the other end is, um, I don't know if y'all can see that through the packaging. I just don't want to take it out because if I gift it or do it in a giveaway, I don't want it to be used or opened. But it just has an angle um, brush on the other side. So, and it says Brow Gal on the front. Um, I love this. So um, that's nice that they included both. Um, what does the card say? The brow brush is $14 and um, the convertible brow powder is $35. Okay, next in the box is this. What is this? This is a brush. It's the, what is this? Oh, there's a cover over it. Oh, that's neat. That's great for like traveling and um, just like storing it so it doesn't get dust on it or anything. I like that. Um, I've never tried one of these. I've always wanted to try one. 
Um, this is the Round Contour Brush um, by Crown. So this is a Crown Round Contour Brush. It retails for $24.99. This super soft paddle brush can be used with any liquid, powder, or cream product for a full coverage application. So, um, I feel like this is a little bit too big for contouring. I would probably use this for foundation. Um, I've never tried one of these paddle brushes before. I've seen them everywhere lately, but um, I never broke down and got one. So um, I'm excited to try this. Next in the box is this from Temp2. I wanna say I've gotten Temp2 in my BoxyCharm before. Yeah, I did, it was the bronzer. Um, I remember everyone was not too happy that they got that in the box. The Temp2 products were originally created for their airbrush machines. It was like airbrush makeup. And so everyone was confused when they got the Temp2 bronzer um, months prior in the box. And I was one of the people that got it. And um, I actually did find that applying that, that bronzer with a beauty blender was really pretty. And it was a good color match for me too. Um, so this is the... Um, liquid glow so this is a liquid highlighter and the it says boxy charm on it so i'm assuming this is a collaboration Li this is the liquid glow liquid glow from temp 2 it's 2950 says in this limited edition collaboration with boxy charm temp 2 introduces liquid glow its first hand applied highlighter formulated to to deliver a radiantly luminous complexion or to illuminate all over. This long lasting formula is designed in a rose gold hue that flatters every skin tone and creates a natural lit from within glow. Okay, so yeah, this can be applied by hand. Um, I guess they um, either changed the formula or now just advertising it as being able to apply it without the airbrush machine, um, which is nice. I like that they did a little collaboration with BoxyCharm. I did like the bronzer that I got from them and this is a huge bottle, like it's pretty big. Um, so it would take a while to go through this. Um, I'll show you guys a little swatch of it. That's really pretty. Um, and I love, I don't use liquid products all the time. Um, but I do love using like liquid highlighters um, because you can do so many things with them. You can dab them on the top of your cheekbones, you can mix them in with your foundation, you can even use it um, like dab it on spots of your body that you want to be highlighted like your um, decollete and your shoulders. And you can also mix it in with a body lotion to make you have like you can make your legs glow, mix it in with your lotion. So I like this, and this is a lot of product that you're getting. So um, I like that. Okay, so the last thing in the box is this highlight and contour palette from IBY Beauty, um, or Ibi, Ibi Beauty. I'm not sure how to say that but this is a highlight and contour palette. This is the highlight and contour palette by IB Beauty. It retails for $40. It says sculpt and define and illuminate your features with the highlight and contour palette. Chic and portable, this pro proof kit comes in six versatile shades. So it comes with this little card inside it that um, tells you like how you can use it. So that's cool. And this is the palette. It's really pretty packaging. I like it. It reminds me of like the Anastasia packaging. And you get a nice mirror in there. And these are the shades. I feel like these, these, I don't think these will work for every skin tone. I think this one would probably um, work best on me. It's pretty neutral tone. This one's a little bit warm and this one looks like it'll be too dark and cool tone for me, but this one I think will work really good. And I'm not sure about the highlight shades because I'm so fair, so um, I might not be able to use any of these, but um, I'll try them out. Let me swatch them for you. There's the swatches. Hopefully y'all can see them. I kind of went like sideways down my arm, but I just went in order, like starting, starting at the top. I started here and went left to right and then here left to right. So, um, 
I think that those will work for me. Um, I might be able to mix these two together. Um, I feel like this one is a little bit too ashy for me and this one's a little bit too warm and I think this one's too dark. So if I mix the first two um, shades together, I think that would be a good contour. Um, I could probably even use it for bronzing. Um, I really like that these are all matte, so they can be used for contour, but you can also use them for bronzing too. I actually like using matte bronzers the best, so. Um, I like this, I like that they included this, and it's $40, that's, that's really good value in this box for it only being a $21 box. All right guys, that was everything that was in my BoxyCharm this month. Sorry I didn't do a try on style um, this month, but I already have my makeup done today and I completely forgot that I usually do the try on style. And there's not really, like there's no color in this month's box. That's, I wish that they did some color. The theme this month is makeup is art, but I'm not really seeing I mean, I guess they think art of like using this cool brush and like sculpting your face is art um, and you know, carving out your eyebrows and things like that. But um, I wish that they would have included some color. It's not very exciting to try on these things. I think the thing I'm most excited for is this brush. I've never used a brush like this and um, I'm excited to try it out. I'll probably use it tomorrow when I do my makeup. Um, it looks really cool and it's like really, really soft too, so. Um, excited for that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, be on the lookout for my haul video that's coming next. I'm gonna try to edit this really quick and hopefully get it up by the end of the night um, so that way I can finish editing the haul video and get that up um, sometime this week too. Um, if I do, I'll have three videos up this week so that makes me really happy. Um, I'm not in a set schedule yet. Um, I just started my channel a little over a month ago and I'm still trying to get into the swing of like filming and editing and um, so eventually I, I would like to put up videos maybe twice a week, like every Tuesday and Thursday. But for now, the goal is to just get at least one video up a week. And with me getting so many subscription boxes, it got me thinking that I don't want a subscription box to be um, my only video up for that week. So um, I just kind of want to think of subscription boxes as like a bonus video. So I want to try to get some sort of content up, whether it's a favorites video or a tutorial or an empties or whatever other video that isn't a subscription box I would like to do. And then whenever I get my subscription boxes, I can unbox them for you and try the products on and then put up those videos as well as like a bonus video for that week. So the goal is to have um, about two videos up a week because I do get my subscription boxes keep rolling in and I've lost track of how many I have. I'm not sure if you guys want me to unbox all of them on here, but um, as of right now, I seem to be doing my Ipsy, my BoxyCharm, and my Sephora Play. Um, and then I have my seasonal boxes too, but I only get those once every three months, like FabFitFun and BeautyCon and things like that. So just bear with me while I get into a like routine um, and get into a more like consistent upload schedule. Um, I'd like you guys to be able to count on a video from me on like certain days of the week and know exactly what day that um, you can expect a video from me, but I'm not quite there yet, but I'll get there soon and I'm just starting to, to get the hang of the whole YouTube thing and I'm just now starting um, to post on social media. So um, I'll have those linked below as well. I literally just set up my Instagram um, last night <laughs> and my Twitter. So um, if y'all wanna follow me on there, I'll link my um, usernames below for you to go check that out. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.